in this demo we're going to make these satellite earrings or satellite inspired so you've got the the spiky bits coming off they're a little bit a little bit funky a little bit of fun um using the villa beads and your eight o's so let's get cracking what we're doing with these we're going to use the two different colors of the villa beads which are these um pyramid shapes and then you've got the drill hole diagonally across the base so they're going from that side to point to point across the base which are really great fun to use and we're using a, a netted a netted rope technique really that you'd normally see with a round bead so it gives it this slightly funky edge they're going to twist and turn going to look really great fun so we're going to start off with um some thread on the needle i've used a fire line an eight pound fire line um, i want a an 8 -o. it doesn't matter which one you do first, a villa bead, 8 -o. villa bead, 8 -o. villa bead. So three 8 -os, three villa beads, slide down and then you're going to knot. So overhand knot, you can do a surgeon's knot if you want, I usually do a couple of overhand knots, come on go through. Now you want to pull it tight, but not mega tight because you want them to sit like that. If you pull it too tight, they won't sit. They'll they'll all sort of come point to the middle. So I'm just going to keep it there so that I know I've got a little bit of give that I can open them. So, so this is what happens if you tie it too tight. We just want to ease that open. So don't worry if it has and then you get your little triangle shape. So we're going to feed through our bead, our first villa bead, following our knot, if I can turn it that way up, and then through our first 8 -o. Now I want it a little bit tighter than that, so I'm just going to reinforce that a little bit. If need be, if it's very, very loose, then just go round again. So now we're going to add five of the 8 O's, two, three, four and then we're going to go over the villa into the next 8 o. okay now with the villa because they go narrower it holds nicely in place and we're going to do the same again don't worry that they're going a bit all over the place at the moment one two three four five you're going to go all the way around the three of them doing this Okay, and the last one, may I keep your tail out of the way, but I would leave it till the end because you can use that to finish and tighten it up. So now you can see the threads, but I'm going to pull that tight and you'll get the idea. So we then turn that over and do the same again, going over five at a time. So I'm going to swap over to this one. These are such a nice quick bead and you can see I've got the five beads on each side. Okay so we're now going to feed up to get the next row. So you could actually make this to a rope if you wanted. Continue um, carry on up the necklace. So you want to go up through you're coming out of your last eight o there. They're all the same colour. You could use a contrast colour. So you want to go up through um, three of the five beads. So you're coming out through the middle one. Then you're going to pick up the next villa. Then you want one, two, three in through, whoops, in through the third one. And pull. Sorry, I've got a shorter thread than I usually have. Here, there we go, and again, you're going to pick up the next villa. So you go through the top one of each, and this is putting your next layer on. So it's going to look a bit strange compared to what you would normally do with a, a beaded rope, but it's exactly the same principle. The only difference is they're a different shape. Put that in place, make sure they're all pointing outwards. And then you want to do the same again. You're just going over one, two, three, four, five down through to that 
eight o. So you go a few times through the, each of these center ones, and you do that for three. One, two, three, four, five. Down through the next one. And one, two, three, four, five. Through that one, and then you're going to step up through to that fifth bead again. Come on, that's there. Okay, so we've got our shape happening now. We've got our beady shape. We're going to feed up through to the top. You want to keep a decent tension on this. Don't let your slack creep in. Um, and then we're going to add two beads through to each of the top ones this time. And that will pull these in and tighten it up. One, two, through to the top one. You'll see which one, you'll soon get to know which one's the top one. Um, it will sit on that point of these beads. So we'll come out through that one, in through the third one. Make sure you don't get it caught round the bead. Pull that tight so you're getting this triangle shape at the top. Go around that again to solidify it. And then when you've gone all the way round, which I'm not going to do here, you do... Um, add six of your 11 O's on the top. If I show you here, go crosswise over that triangle so you're coming from the two across to that one and then back up through the other side and in through the other half of that two and that's somewhere where you'd put your jump hook, shepherd hook. And there are your earrings. <laughs>